Welcome to our zone meeting kickoff. This is the SPS meeting within APS, which is the conference. And we are taking some time out to kind of do a shameless plug of what we've got going on, because there's a lot of resources. Um, it doesn't hurt to be in both, not one bit. This is Dr. Ron Kumar. He is our zone counselor. So hello. The agenda, like I said, I'm going to blow through this. So if you need any information or if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd like to spend more time us talking together as a zone. This is our map. So we are made of Michigan, Ohio, West Virginia, and half of Pennsylvania. So there are approximately 100 chapters in our zone. And my job as the associate zone counselor is to help you guys connect with each other, provide resources, and share information from nationals, whether it be scholarships, travel awards, anything like that with you guys and make sure that you are all aware of it. Um, but as you know, eboard changes, things change. It's very easy for us to get out of touch. So that is why I'm working on managing the 400 emails that I have. And if I don't have yours, or if you have not received my email, I would like to really correct that today because moving forward, Oh gosh, that would be so helpful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pass on the sign sheet here. Just put your name and email. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I accidentally unplugged the HDMI. Okay. By accidentally, I mean not accidentally, but like, you know what I mean. Okay. One side. <laughs> Okay, how's that? Good? Sweet. You know, there's a subreddit for that. It's called Maps Without UP. It's really funny. Yeah. So, like, sometimes the UP is eaten up by Canada. Sometimes the UP is just Wisconsin. You never know. Um, and people make fun of it all the time. Yeah, I've never been, but I'd like to go somewhere. I have some UPers. I have one friend of yours. Half a mile from the Wisconsin border, and even the times on your floor. Nice. <laughs> okay. Hello. Uh, for the people that just came in, I'm Becca. I'm the associate zone counselor for Zone 7, which is in the picture here. So there's a lot of schools to manage, a lot of schools to kind of make sure we're all aware of what's going on. Um, so, like I said, your contact information, I really want to make sure I have that down. See me afterwards, and we can just get it into my little database. And that would be sweet. So why do we exist? Um, we exist to help turn you into a contributing member of the professional community. So we help you communicate. We help you provide you with resources and opportunities to develop your leadership, um, generate your contacts, and also present your research. So we have opportunities for you to get published. That's what our JERP database is for. Um, we also help you reach out to your community. That's what things like our SOC kits, our outreach kits are for. As a chapter, you guys can get involved. We help you. We want to support you in your meetings with your club, whether it's within the school, the community, professionally, or otherwise. So we're not going to do this just yet. First of all, it's hard to talk to you guys and maintain connections with you guys. Eboards change, everything happens. It's okay, I get it. This is the QR code for the Discord server. If you could pretty, pretty, pretty please join it or provide to me a different way in which you would like me to communicate with you easily, that would be great. Because I get it, emails aren't fun. Nobody reads them, nobody responds. It happens, I know, but I'm a real person and I like it when people read my stuff so it'd be cool if I knew you existed too. Okay, everybody good? I'm gonna click the button. I'm gonna click it. Speak now. 
All right, cool. So we are made up of 18 geographic regions. We are an international organization. I represent Zone 7, as does Dr. Kuman over there. Um, and there's a lot of stuff out there that it's really hard to communicate with the chapters and all the members of the chapters. And there's just so many pieces of paper on the table. Like, <laughs> there's a lot. So how do we break it down? We have committees. I'm on one of them. I'm specifically on the Sigma Pi Sigma committee. So if your school does not perform Sigma Pi Sigma inductions, please get with me. I would love to help you make that happen because it's a great opportunity. It's an honor society. And it also provides a lot of resources. Okay, this I'm gonna to touch on a little bit more. I'm not necessarily gonna read it word for word, but we just had FizzCon earlier this month and we had an interactive event where people could fill out what are the top three issues that you are experiencing right now as a physics student, whether it be within your school, personally or otherwise. And the number one answer was burnout. So there's a lot of burnout going on. Everybody's tired. Everybody has way too many things on their plate. There's a lot of homework to do. I absolutely understand. So my personal take on my role as the associate zone counselor is how do we find opportunities for us to connect with each other and make us feel not alone and not isolated with our studies and otherwise. It's tough out there, I get it. Um, so this link that I can email out to you, assuming I have your email, has everything you need to know. I'm also gonna send out the slides. So there's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of resources, a lot of money out there. All you have to do is apply for it. That's really it. They will pay for you to travel, to go to a conference. They will pay for you gosh, for a lot of stuff. I mean, we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> I just want to add, this, this should be, it has not already right here. We have lots of security material and registry. So that's good that you will be getting one. That will be the 2021, 22, 23 version that will be coming in your mailbox. So this is the national office. They are amazing people. And me and my fellow 17 AZCs, we all work with them to help communicate information that they work hard to put together to you guys. Mm -hmm. Here are some of our awards and grants. So future faces of physics, actually, that's a thing. So application deadlines. Fall deadline, November 15th. So in just a little bit, the Sigma Pi Sigma Chapter Project Award, the Future Faces of Physics Award, the SPS Chapter Research Award, and the Marsh W. White Award are all expiring or closing for applications November 15th. This is free money. All you have to do is, is apply for stuff, depending on what you got going on. There's links, you get the money, you use it for whatever it is that you said you wanted the money for, ta-da. Um, the winter deadline, so January 15th, and we will get there, is uh, the internship. Sure. sure. If you read the funding is one of the past, this is a new one. Um, these are, okay, so just briefly, this is for yep. outreach, for chapter research, a good size one too. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing stuff in the general public for K through 12, this is a new one. If you're if you have students who are going to be developing an upper division lab, this is, you can actually get money for that. And then if you want to do something with your two by super chapter. So um just want to point out yeah, there's money available. Um with this specifically, like if you're ever looking for ideas, and that's part of what the Discord server is about. Let's say you want to get out into the community and you just don't know where to start. There's a lot of really active chapters in our zone that have done things that if we all just communicated with each other, we'd be able to bounce ideas off of each other. Like I know it wasn't necessarily a part of SPS, but we went with our local youth boys and girls club of America and we held events like in each room, you know, one of them was like, how many cups can you stand on? and like not break the cups and then how to like disperse the weight with like, like a lot of STEM related activities. And so all of those activities, I've got like logs, I have instruction sheets, sheets, I have those resources and all you need to do is ask me for them. And then you have your own event you can run for like under $500 and maybe less and you can buy snacks too, right? So um, lots of opportunities out there. Now for you specifically, say that you wanna to go to an event 
you have travel awards. I know, what is it, APS is doing the Las Vegas conference next spring. So, hmm? abstracts are due today. Okay, well, get on it. But you could utilize these funds to go to Las Vegas and help you offset the cost of your hotel, be able to go to all those plenaries, be able to go to all those career talks and like do stuff. Like this one here, you write up a like a, a reporter. So the, was it radiation or is it, it no, which, the, observer? The, the observer? Okay, so we have some articles of the observer, the SPS observer, which comes with a part of your membership. Like the reporter awards, the articles that you write go into that. And it's super cool. I met one of the editors at FizzCon. He's a great guy. So this is if you're going to be presenting. So maybe whatever presenting, go get travel money. Here is maybe you're not ready to present. Maybe you're just a freshman and you, you still want to go to a meeting. You can go to the meeting, they'll give you some assignment and write an article. So you can still get experience at the meeting. You know, just present the meeting. Okay. So um, and this is good not only for APS, but for any AAP members, like the Acoustical Society, Optica, uh, and the Astronomical Society. Okay. This, these end in December, so there's not a whole lot of time to utilize these, but we have the Food for Hungry Physics and Astronomy students. Basically, it's starting money to open up sort of a food pantry for those that are struggling in your community. They do exist, and you can have $300 to support that. Um, then the pandemic assistance program, this is up to a thousand dollars based off of your financial situation to you just because of the pandemic. And they, they're, they're trying to get to the it's So if you need money, a lot, right? The problem is, yeah, they have so many dollars, like they have a hundred thousand dollars to give out and they are having such a hard time getting rid of this hundred thousand dollars. It's insane. So like apply, it literally can't hurt you. These are access to all these are how do we get access to all these on the SPF website? So well the links are all in there. When you click these links, um actually no, you're right. Yeah, it's from the SPS website. You have to be a member of SPS. Right. So let's say I click I click that link, it brings me here. Well, I guess this website, spsnational.org slash scholarships, and you can see everything that's here. Um, and so this particularly, you can be like, all right, these are the rules, what you got to do to do stuff, to apply. How do I apply? <coughs> ah, online application. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Here we go. So I log into my account, which I am a member of, I think. And then, uh, <laughs> you, there's like a page where you can apply to all of the awards. Okay, good. Cool. What else is this way? Okay, I left my mouse. All right. All right. So, this is an example of the sock kits that we send out. It's a physics related activity that they send out in a kit that you can use for outreach. In this website, they also have the, the demonstrations library. So like I said, huge repertoire of activities. I should probably upload some of the you know, ones that I found up here. It's like a, a home for all the stuff that you may be interested in doing. Um, and then we also have Physics Jeopardy, it's free. So like, if you're looking for something to do, we have resources, we have those opportunities available for you to explore. And if you think there's something cool, well, let me know and I'll share it with everybody else. And then we can all do outreach that, you know, you don't have to work really hard to set up and generate. Okay, the observer is a thing. You have copies there, it's once a month. It's one of the perks of being a member and there's a lot of like really interesting articles in there about what's going on. Quarterly. 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 Sorry. What's the monthly? Do we have a monthly one? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, quarterly. Uh -huh. All right. So then we have the alumni engagement program. Let's say that you want to have a speaker come to your school or be virtual and whatnot. You want to like show your students or your club like 
who's out there to have a career talk, you know, something small, nothing too fancy like this. Okay, well, there's a website for that. You can literally reach out to people and say, hey, will you come speak for me? And all of these people have signed up to volunteer and speak, like that's their thing. So are you looking for a professor? You're looking for somebody in industry? You got options. And uh, this is a long list of short notes of all the things. If you were to register by yourself, it'd be 24 bucks a year, which is nothing compared to what you get in return. Like you sign up for one scholarship, you get everything back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you can print that. So you get, this is here, two free memberships with AIP membership. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a big okay. one. I mean, if I sign up for the these are not on feet. So the physics are best thing. So it's a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is Sigma Pi Sigma. Like I said, um, these are its four like pinnacle goals. We don't have to go too far into it, but I have a lot of documentation if you're interested. If your school does not host inductions, like I said, you may be interested in starting that up because we would like to grow our honors program. I know the one big benefit is okay hundred types oh yeah, yeah so uh gpa and service is like one of the criteria to get in to like you know okay sigma by sigma has radiations yes that makes sense and that is also quarterly do you know much about this resource yeah so if you are a member of sigma by sigma then uh, this is available to you so they've got basically different kinds of uh, Benefits that you can get to access to websites and their LinkedIn groups, networking. So, so, just to be clear, so the study for the students is open to everybody. Uh, and Sigma uh, Sigma is an honor society, so you do have to qualify for that. But once you qualify for it, the lifetime membership. So, I'm going to just one more time. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a way to kind of continue your uh, you know, graduate. You continue on and so we did have ten minutes. Okay, so this is the physics conference we just went to. It was a great time. They're going to have another one in 2025 in Denver, Colorado. So, a student or graduated or otherwise, you should definitely come out. It was a hoot. Um, that's kind of okay. So. Back to where I started, we are zone seven. I am the associate zone counselor, and that is the zone counselor. And that is all we have to manage communication with 100 chapters in our huge zone. So that means that like, if somebody has a question or if somebody's looking for resources or somebody wants to set up a zone meeting, it would be nice if I had like a small team of people to kind of help me just expand my reach a little bit more. So if you're in Ohio, well, maybe you can handle the schools in Ohio and set up an Ohio event. And I can totally help, but for you to champion those emails, you know, say, hey, I want to physically see you. I might not be able to make it to Ohio, right? Um, like that would be great. West Virginia, I got nothing, you know. <laughs> uh, Pennsylvania, I don't know, but it would be great to see more involvement between the chapters. So if there's anything I can do to help spark that, I don't care if we all watch a movie on Discord and we stream it. Like truly does not matter. Something fun, help me plan activities, plan activities to have me be a part of it and I can spread it to everybody so everybody can join, right? Um, anything to kind of take the stress off. Okay, maybe we wanna start like a study, like Discord, like what do you call it? The thing where you just sit in it and you have the audio on and everybody can just kind of jump in and out and then you can voice talk to each other. Yes, voice. the Discord version of that. Yeah, you jump into the voice chat. Voice chat. <laughs> right, and then you can just kind of casually chat. Oh, wait, what kind of homework are you working on? Oh, your class covers this. Well, my class doesn't, that's interesting, right? Just chit chat, why not? Because um, you never know who the people in this room are gonna be in 10 years. You don't. And it would be really cool for you to be able to say, oh yeah, the CEO of whatever physics-related company, like, 
yeah, I, I did my quantum homework with them, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> so, uh, but we need somebody to kind of jumpstart these activities because there's only so much I can do personally. So if we had a team of people, it would really help spread the load out and that would be great. Um, and I just want to just say, so, uh, you know, my, my vision for this, I think it's gone for a couple years now actually, uh, is really not, not a huge time. Uh, no. You know, so maybe like maybe one or two Zoom meetings per semester, like to, to kind of touch base, get some feedback, some ideas, and we can also help communicate to you what we learn from the National Council. So, um, please come talk to us. Yeah, I'm not trying to stress anybody out. I just want us to be more connected. And so if there's a way for us to kind of meet once a month, that'd be cool, even if it's a study session, like I'm not asking for much. But if we do want to like physically meet, maybe go to an observatory. The Green Bank Observatory is in West Virginia. That was a hoot. I just went there. I had a great time and I totally would go again. So maybe we start planning on something for the spring, right? And we can all chip in meet somewhere, get a bus, and then, you know, head over. So there's ways we can do this, but we have to do it in numbers. And that's what we're trying to get because it's hard. Everybody's so siloed, you know what I mean? But there's such a big network of community around if only we're a part of it, right? Um, bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah, chapter reports are a thing we don't get a lot of. Um, therefore, I lose contact with you guys. You follow the map, and then it's a whole mess. So, how many of you guys knew this much about SPS before you walked into this room? Yeah, see, like, how do I? <laughs> um, I don't know. What are your thoughts? So, I, I want to spend the last, you know, little bit us just kind of talking to each other and brainstorming, like, what do you think think SPS is? What did you think it is? What do you want it to be? And how could you like see it grow? Um, between is this even something you're interested in? Am I pitching the wrong slide deck? Like, what are your thoughts? And I'll open the floor. Go for it. Um, at OSU. Yeah. For a lot of people, it's kind of a place where you go on to take. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, no, same way for us. But I also think that um, it is, I, I think, like, sort of, like, interstate, like, multi-university connected vision is a good one that you should all work for. Mm -hmm. I think it is uh, that we need to a lot of participants. Something that's hard to maintain because it relies on the e-board to continue the connection with the club. And then it also relies on the club existing and like enough people showing up to the meetings for it to actually be a thing. We have a lot of like, it's a cyclical thing. We have a lot of restarts that happen with the schools. I get it. Um, but if we have enough momentum, we can really get something going. OS, OSU's SPS very, very Okay. Right. Yeah, and so the other thing too is, is there something we'd like to be a lot, right? I mean, that's another part of our jobs is to get to be So we have a natural meeting with those staffs and fields. We've been going at it for 15 years or so. And I don't know, this might be the first <laughs> time the students have gotten together in a room and uh, we're so sad. And I, I never, I don't know why I think about it. <laughs> so we've been trying to get going. We, we kind of got through the great pandemic. So we had some sort of online events. We did have one, uh, I think the first time we tried to do this was at Kettering uh, in 2019. So, um, yeah, so it's been kind of slow growing, trying to get, make this uh, the FPS zone meeting kind of more part of this. Uh, so, I'm on the executive board now for this. Uh, for the, for the so, uh, yeah, I think it's a great idea too. So, if you have any ideas, what you just do. Well, the world and also the FPS is kind of one of the best things we can do. I don't know if you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Firstly, uh, uh, what you said, I quite agree with that. Um, I'm trying to help me. 
Now being able to revive many of these activities is just trying to bring in the motivation, like, hey, we have this event going on. Hey, we have this event going on. And like, like reaching out to um, students outside of physics, maybe engineers, another anyone who has any remote interest in physics mm -hmm. and astronomy, joining us. Yes, like at Wayne State, we had our festival, so all our student organizations were outside. And we had tables. Yep. We did physics demonstrations for people to join in with, and we talked about what SPS is. And you don't have to be a physics major to join, to join our Discord, and we can get you on a little list so you can see what's going on. Yep. But now that we're trying to get events out there, I mean, one thing like funding, you know, right. like uh, on Monday, we're going to have a little apple uh, cider and donuts get together. Yep. And just but we couldn't, we're not getting get any funding from our department because right. that has to go through the university and all that. Right. So each of us are going to contribute a little bit and buy cider and donuts. Right. But if we plan on having more events within just even just for our chapter, just to get people in the university mm -hmm. encouraged, more options for funding and finding ways to get that funding and having those resources of like readily available and obvious right. would be immensely helpful. I think so that we can get more outreach yep. and say we don't need to worry about this organization and funding so we can just have it and have people join in and then from there I think if you have more activities within your own chapter then people will be more encouraged to go out to other chapters as well and yes more fun yep so Kettering they operate as a physics club and fun fact they are 75 to 80 percent mechanical engineers <laughs> and a whole lot of not a lot else um so how many physics students are in our department right now oh i don't know i think you've got 10 or 12. okay so personally i'm a mechanical engineer i am not a physicist in any way shape or form however that's okay because i like stars and that's why i care so uh, <laughs> no truly it doesn't have to be a physicist to be the society of physics students they recently changed their constitution to truly for sigma pi sigma and for sps to incorporate people that have a love for physics and astronomy that's it you do not have to be a physicist you can advertise to whoever you want these resources are still available i can still receive funding to go to more events and that's great i'll take that so um yeah so the marsh w white award i would personally recommend applying for that to get you kind of started in in your funding so How often can we, is it yearly so you have to use yeah. Okay. Even $500, even just that, that could cover multiple times. So if you plan, like, I don't know how this works. Um, yeah, you need to fill out an application. Yeah. Money. Well, yeah. So what I mean is you have to make a plan for the stuff. So if you generate a plan, where you have $500 of materials that you're planning on purchasing and you happen to have leftover materials after the event to use for the rest of the year <laughs> and you plan ahead in that sense, very feasible. Okay. Also, meetings, I would suggest if you're willing to, to sponsor the meeting, we're trying to do some meetings along with you. Uh, you can also do other meetings elsewhere outside of this meeting. 
and a lot of other you know do that. Yep. And that's uh there's plenty available for zone meetings. Right? So you can get a kit box like this, they'll send you a bunch of stuff. You can have that so I myself, I do not necessarily have a responsibility of hosting or managing a zone meeting. My role is a facilitator. So if you as a university or a chapter want to get involved with your SPS community and host a zone meeting, I am here to make sure you have everybody's emails and all the support you need and that it's visible to nationals and everybody else that we're doing something big. So. Um, but it doesn't have to be anything big. It can be something small. It can be something virtual, you know, whatever. But if you want to do something in person, we have $600 that we can use roughly to go spend going to an observatory or going to the movies, maybe, or I don't know. But like we have money that we can utilize to do stuff. So don't let school funding let you down, drag you down, you know. Yeah. Okay, what else we got? I think this is great. Another thing I used to mention too is if you have some event that's going to be happening at your institution, you want more people to come, maybe people can go for everyone, broadcast online. Um, let us know. We'll try to get publicity on this. So, okay, Marshall said that's an that's, uh, announcement about coming up in early November. Let us know. Although, I'll be really honest, I'm horrible with sending that stuff out. So, so this is where like that stuff is key so if you have stuff going on in ohio or west virginia or whatever you know we can start to collect that information you can give me some you know just email a few people in your area and say hey what are you up to what are you doing send me a picture and then we can get that stuff together and send out like one big email yeah so just going back to the funding saving you guys might already know for your chapters but if you have a student government certification thank you uh reach out to them and they just give each group a certain percentage a certain amount of money for, for us it's uh seven hundred and fifty dollars a year um, and i found out at this time it's going to be about fifteen thousand dollars so uh, i was the um so check into the and it doesn't hurt to ask right like the worst thing they can do is say no but if you have no funding and you're not getting any resources well have you asked Right. Departments will sometimes help out too, especially if you make the page load in front of the community that will help retention. Uh, that we keeps people in school and keeps them paying tuition dollars. Right? So, that's the kind of thing you're saying. I don't think that case. So you just have to do the government like, we have to wait to the student side. So, well, what do you mean by student learning? So, so the student side is probably not the student government association that goes with our college. Yeah, so if you have, uh, um, I was talking to somebody in student affairs, uh, and you can see what you have available to do. I think you probably have a student government association. So it's big for us. There's a certain amount of money they provide us. So really, we need to do is apply. So we've applied for actually on the advisor and we strong as well. So we're applying to get a telescope, and then SPS is going to apply to hopefully get some outreach funding there. So between the two clubs, hopefully we get. Yeah. Yeah. So and I are the presidents of LSU and. First and foremost, one of the guys for coming. It's great to see you guys and, and, uh, and great to host. So, thank you. Thanks for having me. Nice to finally see you. Yes, I think you. <laughs> this is cool. Maybe he'll read my emails now. No, I'm not. Do you want to hand me? Yeah, I can uh, introduce myself. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Quinn Jason. Uh, I'm actually a graduate of Kennedy University as well. Mm -hmm. And you're a student of uh, the coffee interest for the uh, Permian National Thermal Restoration Laboratory. Um, we do have a couple of co issues open uh, in the Providence Department as well as our campus board department. Uh, so, if you have any things like that, it's open one hour a day co op program or any interesting co op program. Please get in touch with us. We have to do your conference and everything is absolutely open to us. Um, so I believe we're trying to fill the program in the next uh, three to six months. So, uh, please. Uh, also, uh, they talk to me through. Uh, did we mention the internship program? 
Did I gloss over that? Um, so it's that you can just as well on the um, So there's you in the DC area, yeah. and there are uh, a whole bunch of them. This is some of our research labs, from like this, NASA. Um, there's some uh, for AT, you can actually write for uh, physics today. There's, on, um, there's a whole bunch of different ones here available, whatever your interests are. There's one on Capitol, one on Capitol Hill. So I can apply for those as well. They pay in for just. Oh, yes. they have websites for jobs and stuff. So there's grad school shopper, which you can use to, well, if you're looking for a certain kind of physics, actually, I'll just show it to you. Um, where's my mouse? Okay. This is the, yep, alumni engagement program. This is, nope, nope. Okay. Careers toolbox. So these are links and things and stuff for your resume and related stuff. Long browser. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Oh, we're not. Okay. So, jobs. We're a job seeker. We're searching for stuff. They got uh, a lot of stuff. Okay. Whether it's an internship or like a full time, there's that. And then this is grad school shopper. So I said I was looking for astrophysics, astrophysics. And here's all the schools that, that do that sort of thing. So you can start to kind of whittle down what's available rather than just having to Google a school and be like, well, do they have that program? It simplifies things a lot. Okay. I'm trying to think. So we got Lawrence Tech in the house. We got Marshall. We got OSU, I'm assuming. Where, where are you from? Uh, EMU, EMU? Yeah. Eastern Michigan. Yes. Where's that? Uh, Ypsilanti. Yeah. That's Ann Arbor. Right around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. All right. What else we got? Wayne State. Wayne State. Grand Valley. Valley. Okay. And you are, sir? Grand Valley. Grand Valley. All right. I'm Michigan. Like University of Michigan? Yes. Okay. Cool. I see. I'm not from Michigan, so like, forgive me. <laughs> um, uh, what about you guys? Uh, we're all from Ohio, Ohio Northern. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to actually write this down. Can you sign in? Okay. Okay. Well, actually. Bowling Green. Bowling Green. Yeah, right there. Where's my mouse? Okay. Oh. Back. Ohio University. Ohio University. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, the questions and comments and the things you might need or want you can pass on to the national counselors. You get about every two to three months. Would you like to see that? How's the environment at your school? Do you feel like things are going well on the screen or the kind of social or everyone's planning on um, I know that we, I mean, we've been putting out Discord as much as possible to get as nice uh, communications. I mean, we have, we have one way to stay. There's so, many. There's so many. I know. It's how, how much are we pushing that? Because I don't see so, much activity in those. Districts. There's not, because nobody, <laughs> nobody answers me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I have a lot of servers. I do. I muted them all because there were just so, so many. I get it. So uh, this is my physics folder. There's an SPS. Can you scroll down? Why? All the way to the bottom. Why? I, and what is that right? Mm, yes. Okay. Why? <laughs> there's, um, it's, there's actually a there's a study, study of physics in the national Discord channel. Yep, there is. It's right here. It's and, and there's a tough section there for non seven, but then we have our own separate right. ones. So like, yeah, there's this, you can join that too. But uh, so what do we want? Like, what are we looking for? Because I have no clue how to navigate. I mean, I, I know how to navigate a Discord server, but like, if you have one for your chapter and then we have one for the zone, like what if we all just use the zone one and then we made you your own private chapter one? right like that would be very feasible and then you could all use that but then we got to advertise that and make sure that that's what everybody uses 
So I do like that because I mean, then you we can put it out there even more to use the put out the call. Right. And I think that'd be great. Like this isn't just for yeah. eboard members. This yeah. is like for anybody who's related and interested somewhat in physics or astronomy, right? So okay. What do you guys think in the back? Discord? No? Yay, nay, bad, good. May also, but I don't know if we have a specific channel, but Discord, mm -hmm. but uh maybe one that has all those links. You put a, it in a channel in the server that has all those links. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we we'll, we can send out these slides to you by then so we'll have it all in there. But okay. also if you then go to the channel to the store so you can put all those links that are readily accessible right there. I think that helps with the culture. What do we want to see? What do we want to do? What do we want what to be? The Discord. This Discord? Well, that's what I'm asking you guys. I'm going to use this one. If that's all right. Yeah. So uh, if you guys are going to use that one, we can totally set you up. Like this needs, um, this definitely needs a renovation. I completely agree. So if any of my zone council members want to uh, help me do this and we can kind of talk it out, that'd be great because I don't like talking to a wall. And I also want to know what you guys want because I'm somewhat disconnected because I'm not a physicist and you know, a lot of stuff. So any thoughts would be great. So um, we'll, we can do a little longer. Yeah. I just want to do you go for just a second. So um, thank you very much for coming. And um, is there anybody who would be willing to be spied on our zone council? Okay. We got two. Talk. Sweet. Let's go. Thank you so much. We'll stick on here a little longer. Okay. Oh, boy. Bye. Bye. If I could make sure I have everybody's emails correct, that would be great. I'll just just come look at what I got.